Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn. We've finished clearing out the graveyard, and we've just returned to the town of Cerberus. Though you might recall that when the mayor came back to life as an undead during his own funeral, we could see smoke rising from the town nearby. Yeah, the town's been raided, and apparently the undead are running around in within Cerberus itself now. And I think we got word that there was something going on to the north of us. Let's see. I think we need to head north to the town hall. So let's start moving. I hope I can hear this. Um, hang on, I'm just going to check the sound for just a second. I will be right back with you. Oh, don't mind that. That's just the timer going nuts. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong. Okay, so we're going to continue moving. Undead marauders fill Cerberus, destroying houses and stores. The citizens have barricaded themselves in Town Hall, but the undead are on the verge of breaking in. So, sounds like we need to get to the Town Hall. As you try to enter Town Hall, it uh, looked like there were some giant zombies. And let's see what... Might be something else since we do... Okay. Okay, just two zombie giants in each direction. Probably I'm not going to be able to turn them, but... Okay, it looks like the ones that way are a little bit closer. Okay, Durfee can't quite reach those. Oh, hey, he can use his magic darts. So he is close enough for that. Probably have Rob switch to his bow. Fortunately, zombie giants can't run the rants, which I am very thankful for. Okay, so it looks like that one's very close. Then we'll want to have... Durfee switched to a sword again. Or possibly the halberd, but sword works. Worked very well with that one zombie giant.
You know, actually, I think. Hmm. Yeah, well. We'll have him equip the Dragon Lance. Oh, speed. There we go. I think we want to make it just a little bit slower so. <coughs> when we get messages outside of battle we'll actually be able to read them oops hang on yeah so that one next to Danny is the only one left Good job, John. Now that the zombies are defeated, it's safe to enter. Enter Town Hall. A group of people are huddled here. Hammering fills the air as the windows are boarded up. A man steps forward to address your team. This is recorded as Journal Entry 48. Never before has this town had such ill fortune. First the assassination of our good major, mayor, then now this. Legions of undead have invaded the town. They desire only our lives and the destruction of our homes. Dark shakes peer through the windows before boards are quickly nailed into place, blocking their view. It was a fortune teller, says the teenage girl. I saw him giving orders to the creatures as I was running from the market. Her father interrupts. The important thing is to save our cleric Zakari. Only he can open the door to the armory. With our weapons, we can destroy these accursed invaders. Remember, Zakari's house is in the northwest corner of town. Please save him. Okay. So. I guess we're supposed to go to the fortune teller's house. Okay, let's encamp real quick and Brynn can heal herself. Let's see if we can rest here. Oh crap, fire minions inside the town hall. Not good. Now I bet ice storm might work pretty well. Unfortunately, everybody's got me weapon equipped. Okay, maybe she can try a ice storm.
magic missile. Okay, save. Okay, let's try a fix. Then we'll save again. Then we'll try to rest. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's possible to try resting, but this during the raid, but there's always a chance you'll get interrupted. And truthfully, if we get level drained, I'm just going to recover from the last save and not try resting anymore. camp, save again, and we'll try to rest again. Thank goodness. Okay, now all we have to do, deal with is copy protection question. I suppose it's better than a undead attack or a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Okay, I bet the good folks of Cerberus would just assume that we get out of the town hall and go find their cleric before we bring down any more attackers on their heads. You find signs of a struggle. It appears that Zakari has been seized by the invaders. Okay, you remember that creepy fortune teller in the, in the town marketplace? Maybe we need to have a little talk with him. Oh great, more wraiths. And of course, since this was a random encounter, we don't have any protective spells up. Are you kidding? Okay, and it looks like we've used all our opportunities to turn on dead. So maybe a lightning bolt. Good. Okay, I'm going to save. Let's see if we can rest. It might be possible to rest. Yes. Yay. Of course, now it's evening. Go to 
the southernmost entrance to the town market. The Farmer's Bazaar has been demolished by the undead forces. Booths are toppled and burning, their wares either plundered or destroyed. And we got some more fire minions. Well, that would explain why the booths are burning. Let's see if we can manage an ice storm this time. Yeah, sounds like Lost in Blue is going out for a walk. Well, at least that time, Aria was the only one who got harmed. Yeah. Oh, rats. Aria, see if you can manage it. Yeah, with that girdle of storm giant strength, when you do connect, you connect really good. And then we'll save. And then we'll rest. Try to rest. Oh, <laughs> nope, that's not going to work. But at least we did save, so. We do have a chance of. recovering from the save game and everything goes horribly wrong. Oh, well, we turned a couple of them. Not as many as I would like, though. Okay, let's encamp and save and try to rest <coughs> and save again. And let's keep trying to move toward the fortune teller's hut, booth, whatever. The fortune teller's tent is closed and you hear gravelly voices debating within. Enter? You betcha. The fortune teller is here, holding a dagger against Sakari's throat. He snarls with rage when you enter and turns against you instead. Okay. Bunch of wizards. Let's try hold person. High Wizard and a Rogue Mage Hive, which I gather is even more powerful.
I do get a saving throw, but occasionally a whole person still works. Okay, we got the rogue mage. That's probably the fortune teller. And let's try using the darts against somebody who hasn't been immobilized. Okay, so there's just the one left. Let's try Magic Missile against that last one. Oh, yeah. That was great. Now we can slay the rest with one cruel blow each. Okay, that's a fair amount of experience. Yeah. That's all magical. Okay, we'll have Durfee take the darts. Yeah, it looks like Brienne qualifies for a promotion now. We'll take these magic bracers. We can at least try to maybe sell them off in Sekos and use the proceeds to buy more darts and magic arrows. Okay. Well, that's it. Bakari is grateful, but weak from his ordeal. He murmurs an incantation to open the armory for the townspeople, then asks you to bear him to town hall. And we've got some bonus experience for that. I'm going to turn around so we're facing the entrance, and we'll encamp, and save, and fix. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's have Durfee use his magic darts. Trying to turn on Deb. I 
I am not going to move John forward because that would give that other Spectre a free shot at him. Okay, just one specter left. <sighs> okay. I think this would be worth using a magic missile on. Anything to prevent a level drain. I hate level drains. That is a cough drop I'm crunching. Figure that's better than me coughing the whole time. Okay, let's. Okay, save. Try to fix. Save again. Try to rest. Save again. Now let's get the town cleric to the town hall. Okay, go one space further. So we're going right down the middle. Now that the zombies are defeated, it's safe to enter. Enter Town Hall. He brings Zakari to the safety of Town Hall. He tells the crowd they may enter the armory freely. The townspeople rush off to retrieve their weapons and slay the undead. You deserve a reward, Zakari says. Go northeast to the armory and take whatever you think is fair. Well, thank you. Okay, well answer the copy protection question first and then after that I think we'll take a break before we go pick up our reward and after that I think we'll be ready to go do our last little bit of shopping and then finally assault Dargard Keep so we will see you then <laughs>